Hello guys, welcome to FF Academia YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the basic fundamentals of Excel. We will cover an introduction to Excel, 10 time saver short keys, basic analytical formulas, phase one of advanced formulas, introduction to our Excel workshop, where you can Excel in your career using Excel. Now let me open an Excel workbook and show you how to use Excel. When you open an Excel workbook, uh, typically it will be a blank workbook. And here I'm going to talk about the basic layout and components of Excel, which you need to understand first. On top here, you have various tabs. So you have home tab, insert tab, page layout, formulas, data review and view tab. In each tab, you have various ribbons. So you have in your data tab, you have various ribbons. In your home tab, you have various ribbons. And in insert tab, you have various ribbons, which are all within your each tab. In each uh, ribbons are grouped together in, into, a, into something called as groups. So here in your insert tab, pivot table, recommended pivot table and table are all grouped together inside tables. If you go to your home, you have these things which are grouped together into your number groups. So these ribbons like what's the what's the type of the font uh, text you want uh, your currency percentage comma etc are all grouped together into something called as numbers in each group you have some of them might have an expanded button so if you click here it will expand and show you various other functionalities so typically on top what you see uh, are just a short ribbons and if you want more you can click on that small expand button and you get more options where you can choose from. Now, let's talk about cell, worksheet and workbook. What you see, what we have opened here is your workbook. Inside this workbook, we have something called as a worksheet. What you can see right now on, on your screen is your worksheet. As you can see, the name of this worksheet on bottom of the page is mentioned as sheet one. If you look at my cursor it's going to sheet one it's showing sheet one if you want to insert a new worksheet you just need to click on the plus button and you can insert a new sheet you can also insert a new sheet by right clicking it and and pressing insert button and click and click on worksheet and press ok as you can see each worksheet sheet one sheet two sheet three have names to it you can change the name either by double clicking it or by right clicking it and clicking on the rename. You can put whatever name you want, ABC, or you can put your name as well, any name you want. You can even color this sheet and put the favorite color of your choice and you have multiple colors you can choose from. So let's say we put green and this sheet will be colored in green as you can see with the name to it. Inside your worksheet are something called as a cell and a cell is the smallest part of your part of your spreadsheet but it's the most powerful part. You can enter your data into a cell by either typing or by a copy paste. So I can enter my name on this cell by typing here directly or if I want to enter a data into the next cell I can copy this copy and paste it anywhere else I want. Paste. I can enter name, uh, a text, which is, the, uh, which is a name is a text. You can, I can enter a number, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can enter a date, August. I can enter the date in a different format. I can even customize the cell by increasing the size or reducing it, changing the font here and color coding it using this color ribbon and changing the font color using the font color ribbon etc. Now what you see here which has a cell in cells you have A1 which is mentioned. So this cell every cell that you see on your spreadsheet has a name attached to it. So 
In this cell, whatever you see, a green color box that highlights the cell is called as A1. Now, if I want to move to, let's say, another name, I can enter the name here, let's say M25. The green box directly goes into M25. So as you can see, the, now the green box is on the M25 cell. And how do we name, how this name appears? So as you can see in your Excel spreadsheet, you have something called as columns, which are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, L, M, N, O, P, etc. And you have rows 1, 2, 3, which are on number. So a cell is typically an intersection of your column and your row. So a cell, this one is on M9 because it's on column M and row number 9. So that's how the name of the cell appears. An intersection between your column and your row. If I want to, let's say I type my name here. And as you can see, when I type it, it goes flows from my cell A1 to the next cell, which is B2. If I want my contents to be on the same cell, I can just expand by taking my cursor near to the column and where this black two-sided arrow appears and click there and I can increase the width of the column. And if I have more things to type, I can further expand it to the size that I prefer. I can also increase the size of the row, the height of the row by clicking here and expanding it on by the row, the row size. Now, and one thing that you need to learn is you can navigate through various cells by either pressing enter, where you press enter, it will go down. And if you press tab, it will go to your sideways. So if I want to go up, I can press shift, enter. And if I want to go sideways to the left side, I can press shift tab. So if you press tab, it will go to your right side. If you want to go to your left side, you can press shift tab. If you want to come down, you can press enter. And if you want to go up, you can press shift enter. You can control this using your arrow keys as well. Up arrow to go up down arrow to go, come down, left arrow to go left and right arrow to go right. The next thing that you need to learn is the range for, a, for multiple cells. So let us say we have from A1, now I'm going to expand this by selecting multiple ranges of multiple ranges of cell. So I'm in A1, now I want going to expand this by clicking by left clicking on A1 and dragging my mouse. So as you can see, I have now gone till Z30. So this collection or group of cells are called as a range and the name of the range will be nothing but A1, 2 and the 2 is represented by uh, two dots, a colon to W30. So this group of cells are in a range A1 to W30. I can quickly select this entire range by typing it on the name board A1 to W30. So let's say I want to select from A1 to a random number AC50. If I press AC50, it will further expand and select all the cells in the range from A1 to AC50. And if I select the entire range and press the delete button, all contents within that range will be gone. So all these cells together are considered and called as a worksheet and multiple sheets together are called as a workbook. So this entire Excel is called as a workbook and in workbook you have worksheet and in worksheet you have cells. Now if I enter my name here, and I press enter, it will input everything that I want uh, inside that particular cell. Now let us say I want to delete that particular column and write something else. 
I can either just go to that particular cell and start typing whatever I want or I can press the delete button and input whatever I want. However, if I want to just edit the name to add something else or remove something else, I need to press F2 or click here on the, on the bar so that I can start typing. Now, as you can see, the, the um, content is flowing into the next cell. If I want to expand it, I just click here and expand it or if I can also double click here so that it expands to the width of the content. Now I'm going to type some data of let's say a purchase or sale that I've made so far. So I'm going to do a, a purchase data. So I type the purchase data here on cell A1 so that I can name it and if I want to customize it I can bold it by clicking on the bold ribbon and italics it and even underline it and change the color by clicking on various colors that I choose from. Now let's say I'm gonna start off with a serial number so serial number I type it on a3 cell serial number the next one I'm gonna type the product type and supplier quantity and price value now I can type the serial number as whatever I want let's say I purchase something with a serial number 12345 as you can see because we enter the date it automatically changed the rate formula I can change this by going into the into the ribbon here in the format ribbon here and put it as general so that now the number uh, whatever I typed in has been converted into general I can put my product type product A all my random number and the supplier name let's say China with a quantity of 25 and a price of $10.10 and the value will be 25 to 10 that is 250 I can also multiply this value using a formula so if I press equal to and take the quantity and press the star button and take the price and press enter it will automatically calculate it for me we'll be learning about this soon however just to go through whatever the data that we can put in. the next we can talk about is let's say another serial number and the product was B and the supplier was USA we purchased a quantity of 50 and the price was $12 and with the formula I can input equal to 50 with the star button and into 12 that calculates the value for me so 50 into 12 600 so let's say I want to edit something on this particular data I can double click here and edit it to if I've made a mistake let's say 32455 and I can uh, do whatever the customization that I feel like for this particular table and let's say I want to change the color the background color the cell color of all these uh, headings I can select the entire uh, headings and put it into a different color inside the home font or uh, ribbon font group and in font fill color ribbon I can change it to a green color if I want to reduce the size, I can reduce the font size by decreasing the font size ribbon by pressing the decrease font size ribbon or I can increase the font size ribbon. I can also customize the first name of this particular data which is purchases data. I can group this together so that all uh, the, the, the table which will contain with only one name as purchase data for the entire table. So I can select from A1 cell from where the data starts to F, uh, F1 where the data ends I can merge it so in home in alignment group merge and center so F, this text whatever that I have inputted in A1 cell have been merged together till F, F1 cell so it's easy will, will someone who reading this information will be easily able to understand that the entire data which is there in A3 to F5 contains of purchases data. I can also input borders. I can also input borders for this data 
by selecting this range and going into my home tab within that home tab inside the font group i have the bottom uh, border ribbons and i can input the borders for them so this is how i can customize my entire data set now as you can see all the data contents that's there in this multiple cells are not on the correct with the correct column width or the row height so i can customize this by selecting the entire range and pressing the column width on double click the column width so that it aligns to the content whatever is mentioned there so as you can see the price column and and the value column decrease the size because the content uh, was much smaller however if you see the serial number column width is still a little bit uh, uh, lengthier because uh, the name of the uh, heading is a bit large so if i just type instead of serial number sl number and double click now as you can see the column width decreased to the contents of the column so a simple double click will ensure that your contents or uh, the the column width are exactly aligning or matching to the contents of the columns or data